Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vote TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Medam Murioki. And as usual, today today's broadcast is live streaming concurrently on six other platforms, which include the Vote TV YouTube channel, the Nelson Mike Podcast YouTube channel, the KNL Facebook page, my private Facebook page, and also on Twitter at Vote television karibuni 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 today i have a special guest in this story that is going to blow your mind away all the way from kenya my sister ruth wanjiro and the lady that you're that you're seeing right here on the screen is actually communicating straight from the hospital this is the ruth wanjiro story right here on vo tv Quavo, guys, I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Get a cup of coffee, get a cup of tea, and Wanjiro will talk to us right after these 30 seconds commercial break. Wanjiro, stay right there. 30 seconds, get ready. Again, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I can see people are loading in. Let's see, we got Watoiti saying, morning, everyone, with Watoiti is here. Frida, Joki, Ukoapa, Wegoku, Rakware, Kamengia. Wanjiro, back to you. Introduce yourself. Now, Salimia, Watazamaji. Good morning, good morning, Watazamaji. I'm Ruth Wanjiro. I'm in Kenya. And uh, right from the hospital at KNH. Uh, I've been sick for the last three months. I've been here for the last three months, but before when I was in Saudi Arabia, I got sick. I had gone there for greener pastures. Then now, uh, things was bad. And then now, uh, as you, okay. Wanga had to a minute to Kiambua, you don't go there. But that's a Kulingana Naveneuko Koko na some at two at the end. I see what that thing to work well. So many kind of. And then, uh, mm. uh, like one month I started getting very sick. Then, uh, my bosses, they didn't. <laughs> They took me to hospital. I thought it was just a common flu because it started from so, the so, so, Wanjiro, Wanjiro, actually, let's do this because people are loading in. Let's see, we got Shiro all the way from UK, all the way in, in Kasarani. Um, all these people who are tuning in, let's do this, my sister. The art was a clear about what's going on here. The art was a clear your story. Let me start by showing them the images that you sent to me yeah. so that as you tell your story, what you are, the condition you are, you are in right now. Again, Manjura Likwa Kenya, Akasamayende Saudia for greener pastures. Now, let's come here. This is what, these are the pictures that I received. That's one zero. Pictures I'm gongo. That's how she looks like. This is the reality. Right here. One zero, a butter leze, um, up I liquani around what time? Iliquani September, November. October? This is uh, September, October. 
na ulirudi Kenya ulirudi home kutoka, kutoka Saudi ilikuwa ni lini nilirudi Saturday on Saturday 29 27 27th is when you came back from Saudi Arabia so tutanzia hapo again even divo you see this again these are um i'm going to give a disclaimer out there tafadhali watu wakue um these pictures are highly sensitive images but we're here to tell a story um there you go ukiangalia mgongo wanjiro will tell us all this how it all started dikafika hapa So let's go back to Ulienda Saudi ya mwaka uh, uh, mwaka gani Wanjiro? 2021 November. Nilimaliza. So kwa hivyo one year. Yeah. So nilimaliza to just uh, one month then it is started coming. Then now I would tell them my employee, please take me to the hospital, please take me to the hospital. Then it's like you're begging, but she doesn't. She doesn't want to take you. But we went to mm. twice. She didn't take me to a specialist, though she was a medic herself, but she didn't take me wow. to a your, your boss, your boss was a, was, was a medical expert, nurse, yeah. doctor? She was a nurse, then the husband was a medical doctor, but they didn't care. So after now being sick for long, that's when I decided this left numb is why I don't run away, I just died here. So I ran oh away God. to the and now we go to the Police station, the police station. Okay, so wait, Wanjiro, Wanjiro, because people, I want us, I want us to run these stories. These are very, very, these are very, very crucial story. You went there, you started working in November, Ukanza mm Fenekazi -hmm. November. Then, after one month, you started getting sick. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Okiwa Kenya, were you sick at all? No. Which, how did the how did how how did the symptoms begin? It just started from the mouth, like a common flu. I got some blister in my mouth, and then I went when they took me to the hospital. Now, the the following month, you know, they take time. They don't those people don't drink as blood to your feet. So the following month, they buy time. So the following month, they take me to the hospital and I'm given some uh, vitamin C and some antibiotics. <coughs> then the blisters clear a bit. Then after taking the antibiotics two weeks after, they recap. Now full yeah. blood. So, then, um, so just, just give me a second because I, I, I want us to work in stages. So let's come back here. So yeah, exactly. when you say full, when you say full blast is now this is how it came back. Yeah, now they started coming to the body. They started coming to the body now. The rest of the body under my armpit, on my groins, and everywhere else. But you still oh work. The movie look like that. You still work. <laughs> And uh, now, the, 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 okay, here the doctor said it is antibodies that are misbehaving. It is an immunity disease. So the, the blood clotting, the blood clotting already here has already has started being, being eaten up. That's why you are seeing me swollen, very swollen, because I, do, I got no blood clotting now. That's what the doctor explained. And oh my now goodness. started getting very weak as the pro progress is that we continue getting weak, weak, weak until now when I couldn't work anymore. 
So and what I, and when was that? Was it around the beginning of the year or? Because no, you kept on working. Yeah, around March. That's when now I started feeling. Ah, now I'm getting weak, and my now my legs started swelling. I showed the lady, then the lady is like, maybe it's because you have been standing. If you clear, then I show her my body. She doesn't do anything about it. She was like, I'll take you to the hospital. I said, yes, sir. I'll take you to the hospital. She doesn't. She goes herself. She goes to the hospital to work in, in the hospital, but she doesn't take me to the hospital. Until like, I told her, uh, there was a cousin, also still a, a doctor. Her, she was a doctor, she came. And then I told her, tell madam to take me to the hospital. Then she, she they talked in their language. And then she came back to me and then she, was, mm. she said that she would take me to the hospital. She had booked a, a dermatologist for you. Then another week goes, they buy time like that, they buy time like that until time keeps going, you keep deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating. So at that stage when I decided now, I'm, go I'm going to go. I started now seeking for ways to go. I, by then I was telling my agent now in Kenya, I'm very sick, but he doesn't respond. I sent Wait. him messages, he doesn't respond. He responded now, afterwards. I think when he said it was serious, that's when he responded. So I just decided, let me just run away. Now, September, I felt very weak and I decided, let me just go. If I die on the streets, let me die on the streets. And I walked out. I left the I left uh, the madam there on bed, and I just told her, "Me, take me to the hospital." I changed now into my Kenyan clothes. I told her, "Take me to the hospital." Take me to the office. Because also the office there, I said, "Send." I removed all my clothes. I sent them a video, my video of myself. The way I'm looking, I sent that video naked. I knew it was haram to, to send such a message because now they speak it as haram. But I didn't have a choice. I just removed all my clothes. I sent them the, the pictures that morning. And I sent them uh, videos of how I look. But still, they didn't take any action. So... During the day, I decided now it has now become this. I, let me just walk out. If I die on the street, God is with me. So I walked out. I left and I'm there. Luckily, she didn't even think of following me. So I just walked out, went to the police station. Yeah. And then now uh, the police. Seeing me, how, how I'm looking, they are like, no, we can't take you. You just take yourself to the embassy. To the embassy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Were you were you were you, were you working were you working in Riyadh? Yeah, I was in Riyadh. Okay. So, I the, I took some time there because now you see, getting uh taxi and everything, you take time and they okay, they are biased on skin and everything. So you keep on booking, yeah. you keep on the taxis, you keep on booking taxis online and then uh, mm. they don't respond. So I booked some time there until it was a bit late. So I decided that instead of going to embassy, let me first go to deportation. So when I went to the deportation, they looked, they looked at me and then they were like, do you think this is a hospital? What have you come to do? Oh my now? goodness. Uh, did, did you go to Sakan or to Tahil? Sakan. To Sakan. So the, first, before I, I went to the Sakan, 
I got another lady. Then uh, she sent this guy who came for me from another agency. Then that is the reason why I didn't go to embassy direct. The guy wanted to steal me. You see how they steal workers. The guy yeah, so take you from the other agency and I'll go to agency. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this, mm -hmm. the, the, telling me, uh, don't when you go to the office, don't say that uh, you're not from this agency. I want to take you to work somewhere. I asked him, I work when I'm this sick, and that time I'm very sick, I'm very weak. So I asked him, I, do, I, do I go to work like this? Okay, I'll give you medicine. Don't worry about that. I'll give you medicine. Then I'm like, no, no, God, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. So when the, I refused, the guy now called a taxi and told him to take me to Sakan. I was like, it's okay, just take me to Sakan because he was like, you either choose Sakan or you choose, I take you to accommodation, I go give you medicine and then I take you to work because I've already brought you here now to be healthy. I told him I choose the can. I said, no, you work. It's like he's forcing me to work there, to work for him. And I told him, no, 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 no. Take me to Sakan. I want to be deported. Let me be, be deported. Then the guy got so angry and got out of the office and told me to follow him. I followed him. He went, he got a taxi, and then he told the taxman to drop me at the uh, at Sakan. The taxman just dropped me at the uh, at Sakan. Then when I went to Sakan, the guy seeing me, they didn't, at first they didn't, didn't give me access. Then they were like, yeah. come to do here. Now it is already eight at night. What have you come to do here? Do you think this uh, hospital? Take yourself to the hospital. But then they are telling me to take myself to the hospital. I don't have a, I don't have any any document with me because my mom refused to give me my document. So no, no passport, no, no, you come on or nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. So I told them me, I want to go back home. And then they told, they told me they didn't give me access at all, so they told me to stay outside the gate. By then I was so weak, I just sat there and slept. So I don't know where the sleep came from. I just sat there outside and slept there on the floor. Outside the can? Then uh, after, yeah, outside the can. I just slept there outside. So after two hours, there, there's this lady who came from Uganda. Oh, then now. Uh, she started talking to me and she asked me what is the problem. I told her. Then uh, some other two ladies came and they were opened, so I was allowed. They were opened for, so I was allowed to get in, but I, I slept now. I wasn't given access to the accommodation because they were saying that uh, I will infect them now with the disease. Even if the woods were all over, you can see the. Scars. Yeah, because as we. Yeah, because as we can see, actually, like, you know, the images are here. So you had all these, um, this is how you look like. Mm. So let's show, let's show the viewers again. And here you yeah. are at Sakan. Um, so they were, they were the, worried that you're going to, you're going to infect the other people who are in there. Yeah, they were worried that I'm going to infect them. So myself, I was to sleep outside. I slept there at the on the grass till morning. No food, no water, no nothing. Not being allowed even to get into the reception area to sleep on the streets. So I'm just there now waiting on God. Then the next day in the morning, the 
the accommodation doctor came. I think she would, she was understanding the condition and she allowed me. Uh, then when the matron saw me, and then she kicked me out. They waited for the doctor to go in the evening. At night, they kicked me out again at the streets. And then I'm just there sleeping. Then they, they, this, this guy, I didn't, I didn't get his name, but he was uh, from the Kenyan embassy because I, when I went to the embassy, I still saw him there. I told the guy, please help me. Then the guy was, I think he had had the story there inside. So the guy, I asked him, excuse me, please, would you please help me? Because I was directed to him by some ladies who were with him. And they told me, this is uh, someone from the Kenyan members, if you can talk to him. Then the guy was so nasty to me, he was like, what have you come here to do? Couldn't you take yourself to the hospital? He didn't even listen to me. Then he just slammed the car door. I kept following him. I wanted him to help me. He just slammed the car door and left. He left me there, not knowing what At the to embassy? Kenyan. At the Kenyan embassy. Yeah. Jesus then, Christ. I saw some other, I think there was a meeting from members of guys because I saw now some other Lordan. The guys from Lordan members God just told me to just talk to them. Anyway. I approached the guys, they were two men, and now uh, they helped me out. They asked me, what do you want? I told them, I just want some money, because now I didn't know what to do. So because I had bought medicine. The, the money that I had, I had already refused medicine so that they can allow me in. So the guys, the one of the guys asked me how much how much do you want? I told him and he just removed his wallet and gave me and told me to go look for somewhere to uh, to look at taxi and look for somewhere to go. So I ordered a taxi and then uh, there's this lady who sent me a message of a lady who stays outside, not in the contract. And then the lady sent me her pin and told me to go to her house. She wasn't in the house. I didn't even get to meet her. But she sent me her pin and sent someone to pick me after I arrived. So I went to her house for two days. And the, the next day, I went to her house. I slept there, then uh, the next day they took me to the hospital. But now still the hospital, they can't go to the to a big hospital because uh, they don't have, also, they don't have uh, the, I, I don't the have documents. the documents. I don't have documents. So I, I, they just took me to a dispensary, then the same, same story. We are, refi we are giving you a referral letter, you go to a big hospital because this condition is very bad. So I, I, they, ju they just gave me some uh, injections and went back to the hospital, to the house. Then at night, this is when uh, I received a message from now my agent from Kenya. Then he's like, I was told that you ran away. You know that that is a case of run away. I asked him by who. I me, I didn't run away. I was just going to seek uh, assistance. I was just going to seek help from the police because the, these people have refused to take me to hospital. And now. Uh, 
they have refused to take me to hospital. And I'm going I am going to die over here. What do I do? Yeah. Yeah. So the guy is like, then who are you? I told him I'm at a friend's place, but uh, now I don't have any other way. So the guy now started asking towards the situation. He sent some uh, people, a friend, because now the office there already refused completely to help me. So he sent a friend to come look for me. But now this friend, he told him that uh, I'm on the street. So what we did, they took me, I was so weak, so they took me. Now these friends that are found in this house, where now I'm sleeping, they took me, it was around 1 p.m., 1 a.m. in the morning. So they took me to the street. It's a dust bin, some, you see, now it's just then that big dust bin, they lay me there, and then they sent a pin location to that guy, and then uh, the guy came looking for me, he found me there, then, and then uh, they, they feed uh, behind the cars, because if they are caught, they are going to be in trouble. Yeah, they are going to be in trouble. So they hid and then they left me. They are checking on me. This, this guy doesn't come for me. Uh, they they take me back to the house. But luckily, the guy came. When the guy came, uh, he just took me and we went to the, uh, the, he wanted to take me to a, an accommodation. So that accommodation, they rejected me. Mm -hmm. So the guy again takes me and take me to his office. I slept in his office for, for 10 days. Yes, for 10 days I was sleeping in his office. They just left me there, but he would come now with the, uh, there were other people in the office, but him, he would come, he give me food, and then he leave. It's like uh, they just gave me that uh, small car office for the time being to be using it. And then they were they took me to the embassy and everything. They processed everything and they paid from them themselves. They paid for me everything and then made sure that I fly back. So when I came here, they were so happy. They were praying for me. They would pray for me. They tell me. I wasn't ready for this. Okay. I wasn't ready for this. Let's check some comments, one zero. Okay. Let's check some comments. Okay. Well, Doidi saying, guy without medication, Salman Jerry Kiman is asking a question. What is the government doing? I suggest there is a direct issue. How to find a house to house. Kwalambo na skiza history ya wanjiro apa. Walambo wa meske history ya wanjiro. Mi kuna part moja ambayo mimi mwenyewe, mi mwenyewe. I don't know about you. If you're joining here late, just keep on, let's keep on running. Just catch up. Go with the flow. Okay. Wanjiro, alipo, Wanjiro alipoenda kwa embassy ya Kenya. As a Kenyan citizen, they, they slammed the door. They slammed the door. They slammed the door. Let's start from here, Wanjiro, because now you're in Kenya. 
mtu mgonjwa hivi umeenda kwa embassy trying to seek help wanjiro ebu tell them again what the embassy told you Embassy found that the son was like why didn't you take yourself to the hospital you think this is a hospital what are you coming to do here kusubua watu that's what he asked me and also the matron uh, who chased me also was a Kenya. Those people, I think they have said that and they just become like those salads. They don't have masses at all. So Anjiro, okay, let's get let's so so, so let's get this straight. Uliponda sakan kufukuza ulipafukuza ule mtamali kufukuza alikuwa ni Kenya. Is that correct? Ulip on the Kenya embassy. Same thing. The person who slammed the door in front of you, asking you why didn't you go for treatment? You think that's a hospital? Or was a Kenya? Right? I went to the same same guy, but uh, there was this man who saw me. Then he was like, "What happened?" He was so shocked and started processing my papers immediately. He, he do, you, do, 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 do you remember? Do you, okay, okay. Uh, just for the sake of because we know the folk, we know the guys who are at the embassy. Do you, do you remember his name? I didn't get his name, but that's his name. Can you describe him to the people? Can you describe him how he looks like? Akona Kipara. Is he light skin? No, he was dark. He was a, a dark, dark skin guy? Yeah. A dark or big guy. Okay, let's go. Okay, him, but I didn't get his name. I didn't get anyone who can tell me his name. But that guy, I always see him. But I, I had already seen that he's always that rude. Okay, That's describe to me. Okay, d d describe to the viewers. And I don't know. Again, at our, in fact, at our, at our, at our, when we when we describe. Yule ni yule yule mtu ambaye alikufungia mlango ulipoenda na 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 nakakwambia hapa si hospitali mm. Can you describe that person how he looks like Alikuwa mweusi and now not very tall mweusi mnono kiasi not very tall not a, the very tall guy just a medium size like medium size a, okay like five Eight there. Five eight there. Five eight. Five eight mm. medium medium size. Okay. Five eight. Dark skin. Um okay, was this was he talking to you in Swahili or he's talking were you, was he talking to you in English? He was talking in Swahili and English. Was he speaking broken English like more out was he talking more Arabic English than English English? No, no. He was uh, talking he was talking to friend. He was friend. He was friend. Okay. Um, I will send you a couple of pictures and then you'll confirm to me uh who that person is. Um okay. Um let's go back to Sakan and let's do this by the way. My sister uh Wanjiro. Uh, I suggest that you also get a glass of water with the Palu Lipo. Uh, this is the story of Wanjiro right here on Vo. TV, Ruth Wanjiro. Meskia Yale Ambaba Tombia up to now. And again, let's come back here. This is how Wanjiro look like. Okay? We've seen these images, all these blisters. That's the look of Wanjiro. What she went through. Akia Palace Saudi. This here is a reality. Um now Wanjiro. As usual, yeah. let's take a 30 seconds break. To the viewers, okay. keep on dropping your comments. Salman Jerry Kimani, I see your comment is right there. And then we'll be back after this commercial break.
Thank you very much. Welcome to this edition of the Vault TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Nadal Marioki, and my guest, Ruth Banjiro, all the way from Kenya. And she's actually right now at Kenyatta Hospital. Sasa, Wanjiro, mm -hmm. tell us again, when did you leave Saudi Arabia? I left on uh, 26th, on 25th, yeah, on 25th, Sep yeah. September. September. Yes. September. Mm. Um, tell us now, Umerudi, Kenya, uh, tell us how things went from there. Uh, right now, at least I'm doing much better. The doctors have really worked on me. I thank God. I thank God uh, I'm healing well. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the only challenge that I have is uh, the disease treating is very expensive. So, I'm having challenges with uh, the deal and everything because uh, you see the money that I was getting there, yeah, I didn't manage to save because I was uh, using to refill the medicine there yeah, is very expensive. So I would refill my own medicine. The those people they wouldn't refill for me. So the result second I was refilling and then now. Uh, so I didn't manage to save a lot of anything either. Um, uh, this is really expensive. The drugs are really expensive here. Yeah. So, so you can, so so in other words, you've been you've been at the hospital since you come back. You went back to Kenya. Umekua hospitali. Umekua October. November, Nasasa December. Yes, yeah, so I came straight to the hospital. My to the hospital. hospital. But, yeah. Actually, the doctors were like. Okay, I can see my sister Amehang, but um, as. Okay, as her connection. Um, gets better. Let's come back here. Now. Ruth Wangare Karibu. Um, we had lost you. Okay, Ruth. Uh, you're going to have to come back again. No problem. I'm just going to come back here. Come back here. And then I will um, have to bring you back here again because you're hanging. Lakini, like history ya Ruth Wanjiro nayo imetufungua macho tena. Uh, let me see, let me bring back Wanjiro again. Hopefully now the connection is better. Wanjiro? Yes. Okay. Okay, now, okay. So, okay, so come back here. So let's, let's, let me, let's walk the, the, the viewers step by step. Uh, here we are. That's how Wanjiro this is Wanjiro right here, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Ali Potoka Saudi, Ali Pelekwa Kenyatta Hospital directly, okay? Yeah. There you go. So now tell us, tell us Wanjiro, uh, how are things, the challenges you are facing at uh, at the hospital and 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 what's going on? And the apotena kwa sabu uluko me kuwa disconnected. Oh, the challenges that I'm facing is that uh, okay, obviously miss home very much. I miss my people. I miss everyone. I miss being out. Um, okay, I've never gone home. I'm still in the hospital. Very sick and wow. bad. And now, uh, okay, the other service is about financial finances because I I wasn't expecting it, and the disease is very expensive. I 
have just never crept in my mind that the uh, skin can be that expensive but actually it really the clothes are very expensive so i have some challenges with the drugs and everything um yeah. tell us wanjiro let, let me ask you a direct let me ask you a direct question being at the hospital for two months over two months now um mm -hmm. um I, I, I think i was talking to you i, I was talking to your mother-in-law uh, can you tell the viewers again how how because the bill is getting you know your bill is getting is accumulating every day how high so how much is the bill now the hospital bill the hospital bill has gone up to around now it must be 750 there because uh, by on 19 on 19 it was 526 yeah it was 526 thousand so so we're looking at so it's now over 700 over 700000 mm. Um, yeah. Your mother-in-law, your mother-in-law was um, was telling me that the family has not even been able to settle any amount. Yeah, they have not been able because uh, you see, it was something that we were not expecting. So I feel really challenged about it. Do you have? Do you have? Do you, do you have any children? Yeah, I do have. I have the children. One is in How many? high school. I have two. One is in high school and another one is primary school. Have they come to see you at the hospital? Yeah, the older one has come, but uh, the other one is not yet age of getting to come because uh, he's ten, so they can't allow him in. Yeah. So so um so we we're gonna we, we let me let me uh, I have two more questions and then we're gonna I'm gonna see what we're gonna do here. Um, do you have do you, are your internal organs are, are, are infected? Oh uh, no, they haven't been they haven't been affected in any way. The doctors have come the those tests and they are just okay. The internal organs they are okay, but now the drugs to suppress the antibodies are the ones that are, are a big deal. Because I have to keep on testing them. The doctor says it has it will they it will be a span of three years, three years they keep Checking on the drugs and the fish drugs, if they see any side effects, they fix the drugs. That's what the doctor has said. So how long? How long is it? How long is it going to take to heal? To to get back to to normal? Oh, uh, the doctors review for three years. That's what they say. So three years. Three to five years. Then they suppress with the drug. They keep suppressing with the drug. They keep taking drugs. You see, it's a very rare. Actually, the doctor said, uh, the head of department said that he, she has never, she has never seen this in Eastern Central Africa. That's what she said. So this is her first case. So. so it's something they are really watching. Again, to to, if, to the viewers, if you're joining in right now, Wanjiro, when you left Kenya, uko na kaivi, uko na kaivi, uko na kaivi. No. Ujawai, ujawai kuwa na yukoanjwa. Sijawai kuwa. Okay. Um, are the doctors trying to suggest how you could have maybe ni zile chemicals ambazo ulikuwa unatumia kuosha maybe something like that what's uh, was there any hint of what could have caused this? 
yeah, they keep asking, they come, they keep following us, then they, every day they have to come, if I remember something about anything that, that, that I have ever had, that I didn't use to use here in Kenya, I tell them, so they write it down in my file. Everything, anything that I have ever eaten, I have never eaten in Kenya, I eat there. And it's the people that I use there that I never, I have never used in Kenya. They keep writing down. They keep writing down everything, everything. Anything I remember, I just, they come and I tell them they write down so that they do a follow up. That's what they do so that they do the evaluation. So everything is just till it, 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 it's a rare, it's a rare, it's this is something which they have never seen and they are now investigating on it. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's do this. Um, you have two kids, Mojako High School. Munginako, the other one is 10 years. Now your hospital bill has accumulated to now 750,000. How long, how long are they looking, how long are they gonna keep you at the hospital? You've been there for over two months. Okay, the doctor was suggesting that uh, maybe next week or next week, but once they might be scheduling it, but uh, I'll be coming for weekly reviews because uh, they can't keep me away for long. They have to do those follow-ups. That's what the doctor says. They have to keep doing follow frequent follow-ups so that if it doesn't recur, then it's uh, something, it's a new thing to them, so I have to be very close to the hospital. That's right. That's, that's, the case. that's right. Um, let's do this. To other viewers who are here, this, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this like right away. Um, look, um, let me put let me let me put on a number what do I do? Uh, and all the viewers who are here. Everyone who is here right now, you're going to be you're going to become a Vote TV YouTube moderator. Kila mtu ambaye yuko hapa utakuwa moderator leo kwa hii show kwa show ya kwa hii segment ya leo. Um if there's anyone who's going to watch your story ambaye angetaka ku support financially um to support our sister Ruth Wanjiro What's your what's the Mpesa number? When I do uh, offer it. Yes. Zero seven two six. Six six. Zero seven two six. Wait up. Zero seven two six. Eight five. Mm -hmm. Four one. Four one. Eight zero. Eight zero. Yes, and uh, there's another one zero seven. Mm -hmm. Two four. Mm -hmm. One six. Mm -hmm. Three nine. Mm -hmm. Five nine. Five nine. And the names are Ruth one zero. Yes, or uh, Martin Karioki. So which is which? Martin Karioki or Ruth Wanjiro? The first one will be Ruth Wanjiro. The second number will be Martin Karioki. Okay. Who is Martin Karioki to all the viewers? That's, That's your husband? husband? Yes. Okay. So, the, so to support our sister, we have... Um, Ruth Wanjiro, Mpesa number, that one, and then you uh, and then you have Martin Karaoke. I'm gonna put it down here. Uh, the husband. And that's the phone number right there. Um uh, hospital bill. 
is at 750,000 Kenya shillings. Okay, guys, as we, as we continue, I'm going to, this number is going to appear right now. Can I up a screen? There you go. Uh, Wanjiro, please confirm. Angali up a screen, Tafadali. Uh, I don't know why my screen hung. Okay, it's fine, but we can see you. So let me just continue uh, to support our sister, uh, the Mpesa details. The name is Ruth. The first one, Ruth Wanjiro. The Mpesa number, 0726-854-180. And the husband, Martin Karioki, 0724-163-959. Is that correct? Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay, good. So whoever is going to watch this story, whoever is going to watch the story of Ruth Wanjiro, if you want to help, if you want to support this family, if you want to support this sister, the details are on the screen. The Mpesa number is right there on the screen. Mpesa number, Yake, Yake Wanjiro and Yake Buanake. What I'm going to do is this. And again, Wanjiro, Take a glass of water. Tatiana, Wadoidi, those who are here. Uh, also keep on call, uh, typing that number, uh, that person number in the comments. Fanya Ivy, my sister, take a glass of water. 30 okay. seconds of, of, uh, of commercial break. Love to Kirudi. Mm -hmm. I want you to give a closing statement to your experience and what you've learned about okay. Saudi Arabia once we return. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Vote TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nancy Mike Madal Murioki, and my special guest today is our sister, Ruth Wanjiro. This is a breaking story here on Vote TV. Ruth Wanjiro has told us what she went through when she was in Saudi Arabia, what she is facing now, the challenges. Um, so let's come to the closing statement. Wanjiro. Yes. Let me ask. Let me let me ask you a question right now. If someone came to you, um, I think I'm a hand. Okay, are you there? Uh, okay, I'm there. I'm there. Yes. If someone yes, came to I'm you right there. now, if if someone came to you right now and told you, I'm, I want, I'm going to Saudi Arabia to go and work, what would you tell that person? How definitely tell them, please don't. And I would go even to an extent of praying for them, for God to come to those plans. It's a really bad experience. I wouldn't like even my worst enemy to go through the same thing that I went through. It's a bad one. Okay, next question. How do you how do you how do you describe our Kenyan embassy officials? Okay. Um to me. I think uh, they should they should improve they should improve because uh, when you are sitting here, someone should really be there because they are there to help you and to assist you and that is their work. They really should help you out, not start cussing you and behaving like you are some you are just a stranger to them. If they don't help you. Now, even in the Guyao, where do you ex where do they expect you to go? Surely, I didn't uh, I didn't like the experience at all at all. But I think the guy who saw me 
and just took immediate, immediate action about it. But they really, they really don't have good CV. I want to have a quantity of CV in Zuri actually. They really should improve that sort of thing. They should improve. And the government should also get into it. Because such people shouldn't be there working. They are expected to help to help fellow Kenyans, but they really don't. That's what I would say. What would you tell your agent right now? With my agent, oh, okay. I think that I think him that he helped me out, but he should be he should not be waiting for long because the more you wait for and you delaying the more you delay on some issues and you are the one to, you are the one who is meant to take care of you. the more you delay that's when you, you find someone died someone got to see got lost so he should be, he should be taking immediate effect and just give a listening ear, even if it means to video call. You see that person, you see that person physically, and you see what whether that person is lying. You know, wanga wana samaki. Oh, they don't want to work. We took them there to work. Hawataki kufanya kazi. But in real sense, some, most of the time, the, when someone is calling, Wanga Anakua very sincere about it. Ukiambiwa, Yani agent akiambiwa, Unateteka. Ukimwambia, Unateteka. Me, I would like them to be giving listening. Just give a listening ear, then you make your judgment from there, not just assuming, because me myself I could have died and I keep telling him, well, I'm right. you know I got very sick, I've been very sick for this long then the guy is like well, then, and I know Madame I could let her hospital you know that doesn't so anything, because those people they don't take you as anyone, they just take you as slaves, and actually you know when you're going there, you think you're going to work. You yourself, you think you're going to work. But to them, they are like, Nerikununua na tetazangu. That's where now suffering comes in. When yeah. in that employer thinks, Nerikununua na tetazangu. So it's like how you can buy bread. You decide to toast it, you decide to fly it, you decide to put it in water, you decide to eat it like that. You bought the bread with your own money. So you do to that bread whatever you feel like. So for agents, I think uh, they should be so that to me, I think that thing of Saudi Arabia should be cancelled all at once. And the government to do a really good. Yeah. Now let's go back to the the lady from Sakan. Hmm. What would you tell her right now? With the lady from Sakan, I I really didn't expect that from especially a lady, and she's a mother. She's only a lady, a sister, a mother. I didn't expect a Kenyan. that. A Kenyan. I didn't expect that. She would really chase me out of the gate like, <laughs> I don't know, it's not even like a dog. I don't know what she would chase me out like. Actually, she's the one who, who made me be chased away completely completely because she wouldn't even allow me even you know when i didn't get access the time i got in 
I got in with my belongings, but she declined to me from even getting anything from inside. I just came with my handbag. She refused with everything, everything, everything. I got I just came standing. My belongings she refused completely. I tried sending someone inside and she's like, is that lady? She's smelling. No, 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 no. Then she's talking in Arabic. She thinks that I'm not here. And she's like, she's smelling. No, that's that's hard to go. She can't get What did she here. say? She's smelling. See, you're smelling? Yeah. She's smelling, smelling all over here. Oh. So she declined everything and even my belongings, whatever I left them. She refused me to take anything that belongs to me and she picked me out completely. I didn't expect her to pick me out, especially at night. And she knows how dangerous it is in the street and it's a foreign land. But anyway, may God forgive her and forgive everyone who did bad to me. I oh my God. But the way... By the way, uh, Ruth, one zero, just wait. Um, let me give a shout out to the following people. Wadoidi has sent you 500 shillings already. Ruth Wangari has sent you 300 shillings already. Uh, thank you. Again, if there's anyone who's sending their donations, as we run this show, please uh, just drop a comment. Then Kuna Swadli Hapa. Just give me one second. There's someone who's asking Ruth Wangari and Oliza Nelson, are visitors allowed to go to see her, those around the city? Can we go with fruits? Yes, visitors are allowed. Um, in our uh, world, one day. One day, the matology type. You just come one day, you say the matology reward, and uh, I'm in room one. We just ask for root one zero. One day, yeah. root one zero, the master of the world. That's amazing. That's amazing. Man, that's why I love this is Vote TV. Utumishi kwa wote, huduma kwa wote. I mean, stuff like this is, is really touching to me. And this is exactly what inspires me to just be here every day, just serving humanity, because it doesn't matter the little that we can do. It touches someone. Ruth Wangare is here. Thank you very much for your donation. And Ruth Wangare will make a point of coming to see you. Wanjiro. Oh. Oh. Ruth, now Kienda, please, I'll be looking forward to your videos and, and pictures. You have the Vote TV WhatsApp number okay. so that we can continue um, giving support to our sister. Wanjiro, my foundation, Mengi. Apa sa siku, seti nilisikia, apo metuambia. The familiar story, the key points to your story is A, how the Kenyan embassy rejected you the first time. Ukasaidiwa na embassy, uh, someone from the uh, from the uh, Rwandese embassy. Mm. That's number one. I mean, your story has there's so there's there's so much to learn here. Where you would expect that a fellow Kenyan will help another fellow Kenyan. I know you. I know who you are. Namjua. Namjua, I know who you are. Nakujua. Nakujua. And yet, someone came there, Akiwa Mgonjwa, and all you could do is slam the door, take her belongings, chase her away, and start and start saying at Ikwamba Nanuka. Kama tu vile vile anjiru ametuambia. Ah, tu mmeka uko. Mekuwa tu kama wa rabu. Hamna utu. And that's the truth. 
And that's the truth. That's the truth. What a shame. What a shame. They've taught you the art of slavery. That's a reality. I know you guys, you come here, you watch the shows. You know, me now, me now I'm younger too quick. Me now I'm younger quickly. Because you know I'm right. You know that I'm right. But as long as I'm standing, I'm, I'm standing up for humanity. I'm going to say that. And I will not be apologetic about it. Because it's the truth. Um, good news coming all the way. My sister Shiroa, UK, all the way from the from the UK. Uh, Wajiro, your namesake Shiro from UK. I'm Sema Nelson. I will send mine later. Quick recovery to my namesake. All will be well. Thank you, God bless. Let's see the comment from uh, Dan saying Kenyans are their own enemies. That's true. This is why they, I treat my neighboring countries like my own brothers and sisters without asking, without asking or expecting anything. These are lessons that we are all learning from the history of Wanjiro Apa. You are your worst enemies. Ruth Wangari, I'm going to get all your details, Wanjiro. She'll be coming to see you at Kenyatta. matunda. Anybody else is welcome. Anybody else is welcome. Kwenda kuta kwenda kutembelea our our sister Ruth Wanjiro, Palekneta Hospital. Kwenda kwa dermatology ward. Um, ward one B. Patient Ruth Wanjiro. Thank you very much. Come here, Chikaneni. Let's join hands and see what we can do. Those who are already sending their contributions and their donations. Mungu wabariki sana. Thank you very much. I do, appreciate, I do appreciate you. Another story here at VoTV that imetufundisha mengi. But you know what? Wajiro. Yeah. You know, even after you went all through that, you are here to tell your story and you are here to tell your testimony. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Mungu wamekutua mbali. Oh, Mungu wamekutua mbali, Jiro. Um, you know what that means? Yes. He's not done with you yet. It's true. It is true. It's not Look at this. Done. And to all the viewers, Wangali mm. testimony, Awanjiro. Watch our own. This is your testimony right here. Kamungu mm. amekutoa hapa, Awanjiro. Kamungu amekutoa hapa. Kamungu amekutoa hapa. Yeah. Kamungu amekutoa hapa Wanjiro. And you're here yeah. to tell your story. Kamungu amekutoa hapa. Yeah. Even as you continue to heal. Even as you continue to heal. Yeah. That means that God is not done with you yet. That's and my sister, I encourage you. Yeah. I encourage you to be strong. Yeah. Be strong for your children, ma mommy. For your children, ma. ma be strong for your kids. Be strong for your kids. Sure. You are my hero today. You are my hero today. Thank you. Let me say this again. Let Come me say this again. Come. This is how you look like. This is how you look like. Evie, Wanjiro. Evie, Wanjiro. This one is you. This one is you. With your story. With your story. Abadeo, umeza kupata ayako, I think people are calling you. Abadeo, umeza kupata ayako, I think people are calling you. Yeah, someone was calling me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me okay, bring let you me out and then you come back in. Okay. Out and come back in. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm sure those are people, maybe those people who are watching and they are, and they are calling and they are calling um, Ruth Wanjiro already. I'm telling you, guy. God brings me these cases and I'm, I have to be like, God, what, what is going on? 
what is going on. But another story like this that is gut wrenching. This is Ruth 1 0, right here. You get rejected by your own people, by the embassy. Sakana Katupo Inje. All that she went through. All that she went through. But you know what? She's an overcomer. And. and Hello? Hello? Hello. I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Uh, I can hear you. So, uh, thank you, Shiro. Thank you, Shiro. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Actually, there's one thing. There's one thing. There's one thing. There's one Okay. Let them see how Let you look like you before, look. You left, before you left for Saudi Arabia. Okay. 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 I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna picture. show them your picture. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I have a picture. I have a picture. Okay. So let's take so, thirty let's seconds. Take 30 seconds. Come on, come on. And now my screen is hanging still. Okay, I'll just okay, I'll move just the first one. We'll come back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vote TV Primetime Show. Thank you, wherever you are. Ruth Wangari is here. Mary Ann Faith is here. Wadoidi, Shirawa UK. Thank you very much. Your donations, Amazon Mumenza Kutumia Shiro. As you can see, the details are on the, on the screen uh, to support our sister, Ruth Wangiro. The person number is 0726-854-180. The husband, Martin Karaoke. Uh, 0724-163-959. And as we've been told, the hospital bill has accumulated to over 750,000 Kenya shillings. Now, let me show you how Wanjiro looked like before she left for Saudi Arabia. Are you ready? That's one zero. See the difference? See the difference? That's how she looked like before she left Kenya to go to Saudi Arabia. It's like two different human beings. See the difference? On zero before, on zero now. On zero. Yeah. Perfect. That's an equation. Um, 
Nataka uwalimisha watu kidogo for two minutes before we finish the show. Mm. Ongea na those Kenyans ambao wanaenda ambao wana plan kusafiri Saudi Arabia kufanya kazi. Ambao wako Kenya. Mm. Mm. Yeah, your phone is going to start blowing up because people are watching the show. It's fine. Welcome to Vote TV. So actually, let's do this. Um we're going to let one zero go. Yeah, yeah, pick up pick up pick up the phone call. Um we'll let one zero go for now. And then don't forget I got some more episodes loading up today as we proceed. Can I finish by talking about football? <laughs> no, it's not football. Can I Can I talk about soccer for two seconds? Can I finish this broadcast by talking about soccer? And can I tell you like how crazy it was for me today when I was watching that game when Brazil was getting knocked out? Can I finish this broadcast today by talking about how how I went cuckoo today when I watched Argentina play the Netherlands today? How many watched the World Cup games today? I mean, yesterday. How many folks watched the World Cup yesterday? Oh, so no, nobody here is watching the World Cup? Do you want to tell me, like, only me? I'm the only person who's watching the World Cup right now. Who, watched, who was watching the World Cup yesterday? God damn, that was a game. What a game it was. I mean, for me, the best game that I've watched this whole tournament is when Argentina played the Netherlands. Shiro, I see you. Shiro, I see you. Shiro, I UK. The dark one. All I gotta say, I was losing my damn mind. I was losing my damn mind when I was watching that game. Yeah, I'm coming. I watch World Cup. I'm watch World Cup. Well, Brazil is out. The Netherlands. Well, and today we need the God of Africa to come down for Morocco. Actually, I have my Morocco friend. He's he's already the whole day. He's been nervous the whole day. His blood pressure going up and all that. Whatever you are, I ask you to watch the show today. Sam, we need the God of Israel. We need the God of Africa today. Morocco is in the tournament. They have a tough game playing Portugal today. And then we have the game of the of the decade. It's England, the Premier League hooligans. <laughs> As England, the Premier League hooligans face another African team called France. Well, Africa, team is an African, you know, France is an African team. The French team is an African team. Why? Because you got players who have African names and who, ha who actually have African ethnic background. Mbappe is an African name. Dembele, that's an African brother. Chipukati is also an African brother. Who are you supporting today? Morocco versus Portugal. Who are you supporting today? England versus France. Let's hope that the God of Africa is going to come down today because we need the one African team. We need Morocco to be the first African football ever to make it to the semifinals 
in the All Cup Championships. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel as we continue to grow. I appreciate you. And all I'm going to say is good night and see you later. Right here on Vote TV Shiro. God bless you. Keep me updated and we'll keep on raising awareness about your story. Have a nice one and see you later. Bye bye.